Michael McHale, happy birthday, Topi's daughter. Thank you. Can you believe she's 11? Isn't that crazy? That's effing crazy. Jennifer Ferris, sup? What's up, Jennifer? How are you? Happy 11th birthday to the Opster's daughter. Thank you, Robert Spahn. She had a really, uh, a really good birthday. She got an iPad. She got a new bike. She got a, a cage for her guinea pig. Here's the man of the hour. Hello. There's Matt. Howdy, howdy. I guess I guess you were busy trying to run a, a bar. We had stuff to do. <laughs> Annoyingly. How how you been, Matt? Good, busy, tired. Why? Were you up in the in the mountains? Yes, I was. See, I was uh-huh. I was just talking about the mountains with somebody, and the uh, I said, look, I'm never going to retire because I never had a real job. But when I decide to really slow down, I want a house right on the side of the mountain. Okay. I want my deck to be like this with the mountain like this. So you can end it whenever you want. Well, that's not a bad <laughs> that's not a bad idea. You don't want to quit drinking before you get there. <laughs> that's not a bad idea. <laughs> but I want to live I want to live up in the mountains. All right. Well, I'm sure we can find you a place. And I was thinking maybe New Hampshire, but I don't know if those people are cool because they I don't know. They grow their own tomatoes, they grow their own weed, and I think they make their own cl- I don't want to go anywhere where people make their own clothes. <laughs> Okay. That's all right. I mean, that's uh, that's a that's a that's a pretty specific value. You, I, uh, I don't want to go anywhere where they bring their own bags to a supermarket. Their homemade bags. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready for World War Three? Yay! I've yay! Been planning. Yeah, that's why I got the house up there. It's a prepper prepper zone. It, exactly. I, I we're we're taking a peek. I think we might uh, we might bail and go to the ocean. I, I've had it. I've had it with this stupid world. It's dumb. This world is dumb. Are you avoiding all the, the videos and yeah. stuff? Yeah, so yeah. am I. Yeah. Yeah, so am I. I have plenty yeah. to worry about. Them, yeah. All I hey, need Justin. To, all I need to know is that it was a horrific attack. Okay, thank you. I, I can could, I could figure out the rest from here. Thank you. And people are saying, but you got to see that. No, I don't have to see any of them. How about that? I don't yeah. have to see any of them. Uh, keep and, your eyes on the news all the time. T- well, my, my son especially, he's been telling me to, you know, stop watching the news. He's been telling me this for over a year. So because of him, I think I watch a lot less. I'm like, yeah, this. It's you a, feel a little bit better when you're walking around in your day, right? It's a, yes, because it, it's all on a loop anyway. They have like ten minutes, and then it's the yeah. same ten minutes uh, over and over again. Uh, so anyway, uh, what have we got, man? I, I think I could use a beer right about now. Mm, okay. <laughs> How about that? Ooh, we went back to the Belgians. Ooh. Orval, baby. Look at Orval. that. Look at that. That head peeking through. This is a Belgian Trappist ale. 6.9%. Orval. Cheers. Cheers. Orval, not Orval. Not the popcorn. Not, not Orval. Orval. Off oh, for the weak Spanish king. <laughs> Go get them. Uh, where are they out of? They're in Belgium. They're in. Oh, uh, it is an actual. Yeah, okay. In the, the province of Luxembourg. 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 And, did, um, did you uh, live near Luxembourg? Well, it was about an hour hour's drive away from there yeah. when I lived when I lived in Belgium. Yeah, uh, yeah. Matt lived in Belgium. He was yeah. he was one of those weird kids. Yeah, I was a fez. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was one of those weird kids. You probably had him in your high school. Yeah, the exchange right. student. He was yeah. an exchange a hot student. exchange student guy in your school. That was me. <laughs> he was one of those. He oh. had to go over to. Didn't you do like a year or two of high school over there? I did. Yeah, I did my my senior year. Senior year, you had to live with some strange family. Yeah, a couple of them. Oh, wait, oh the first one didn't. Are you allowed to talk about this? I You've can told talk me about it. It's cleared. All right, let's go. It's cleared. Yeah, the first one was weird. That I was super homesick the first first couple of months, but and they didn't like you too much. Did they, they didn't like me because their son was a super nerd. Okay, and he would study four hours a night after school in his room, very studious. And he'd go do like water polo or some crap. <laughs> and then, so part of their exchange. This kid came to the U.S. and he went to North Dakota. And really? I went from upstate New York to Belgium, and they're like, "Oh, we don't know where North Dakota." Anyway, it turns out he comes back from North Dakota as a Mormon. No, yeah, full blown Mormon. 
Yeah, really? No, yeah, I never I never met the guy. I talked to him on the phone once, but that was enough. Wait, so their son went to North Dakota and you went to Belgium. That's right. That that doesn't seem I don't know much about North Dakota, but that doesn't seem too fair. No, it's not fair at all. <laughs> no, I, I, he liked it. I mean, not, he liked it enough to get indoctrinated into uh, into the Mormon to the Mormonism. Oh my god. Whoa, I apologize. I said, look, I had nothing to do with it, but I feel bad. Does he have more than one? I don't know. I definitely didn't follow up with him. Is that just a rumor? Not my kind of. Is that just a rumor with the Mormons? You get one more than one. I don't know if it's a rumor, or is it just like the, uh, uh, or is it like a small minority of them? I think it's all of them. You think they all have more than one? Why wouldn't you? If you had the chance, would I don't know. I think it's. I think it's. If God told you. I, oh well. You gotta, you gotta follow the word of the Lord. And your wife believes in that same God. Well, then you gotta follow and your the word wives of the Lord. Believe in that same God. Then you gotta Go follow the word of the Lord. Yeah. I know. I'm thinking about heading out there. Actually, have you ever had? Uh, well, it's 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 a lot of work. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of work. It's tough as it is. <laughs> On paper, it it sounds like it's a damn good time. But then you dig in, and it's a lot of work, oh. right? Well, one's enough. No, you know what I'm amazed by? The people that have secret families. Oh my God, that, that sounds like. But it. not not like a, not like a, a side piece or like a legit second family. Yeah. Kids. Like, oh, honey, work call again. I got to go away for another week. What? Meanwhile, they're bringing <laughs> gifts to their other family and saying the right. same damn lies. But how do you get away with that? How do you sleep at night? How do you sleep at night with yourself? You're sick. And yeah. then trying to figure it out. Like, how do you figure it out if both families don't know? Well, you have to be a psychopath, right? Or a sociopath or something. To start with, sure. Yeah. Right. Yes. Oh. Anyway. And then, like, the neither, neither wife knew about it. And the guy pulls it off for, like, seven to ten years as what? Like a business guy? Just a business guy? And I get stressed out just coming home from work. You know, <laughs> right. To that one family. Right. My first wife. How was your weekend? Was it good? Yeah, it was good. It was busy, but good. Good. Did, what, did your dog jump in any uh, pools no, we or put anything? A, we put a new cover on the pool. Oh, good. The one with sandbag weights on the outside. Oh, good. good. Yeah, yeah. There was. Uh, uh, I don't think she's going to do it again, even though she's incredibly stupid. Yeah. Uh, I think she understands that that was, that was close to the end of her life. If you guys weren't watching last week, uh, Matt told a horrific story about his dog getting under the pool cover and then getting tangled in it, right? Yeah, a bit. A and then bit. and the dog is a heavy dog, and Matt went in and uh, saved his well, dog. I didn't go all the way in. I would have if I felt that she wasn't going to make it. But once I saw her, oh, you I was were like, able oh, good. I don't have to dive in the pool. Oh, you were able to get her from the side. From the side, yeah. Okay. But that was the problem because then I had to lift her, and I almost <laughs> threw my damn back out. Of, of course. But... Yeah, she's uh, – but, no, this time she was covered in ticks. Uh, really? Oh, yeah, big, fat, gorge ticks. I'm sure everybody loves uh, hearing about that. Oh, they were sucking away? Yeah, there were a couple around her neck, and then we saw a few walking on her. And then um, – See, I got a golden doodle. The, the ticks are like, what the fuck? Is there any skin on this damn thing? So my dog gets the ticks right on the nose because there's a, there's a patch that there's not much there. Uh, so they can get, actually get to the skin. Yeah, we've never seen a – we see the ticks crawling around the dog, yeah. but uh, they never latch on. You know, the one was the size of a dime when I pulled it off. Seriously, it was disgusting. And then I had to, I had to, you know, you got to burn them, right? So I had the the stove clicked on, and then it exploded. Or you just flush them down the toilet. Everyone I go. Know. I feel like they uh, they can survive just about anything, and I don't want one jumping back up. If you know I, what I mean. I, I love when. Who's going to pull that off? I love when you find a tick on yourself or your dog. All of a sudden, it's like you're handling plutonium. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what well, do we do? Just after I pull them off of her, I start like, just, like yeah. itching randomly. Like, what is yeah. that? Oh, I feel like I got them all over my body. We got to burn it. You got to crush it. You got to burn it. shave all my chest hair now. <laughs> right. You got to stomp it. Ugh, they're gross, but you hate the king. Uh, the spa I don't even know. What was his name? Do you know? King. Probably just king. King. The Spanish king, yeah, inbred guy. He was too weak to lift his glass, so it slammed on the table or something. And because he was the king, that everyone felt like they had to do that before they uh, took a, a sip of their beer. I well, think that's I'll it. do some research and figure out which king they're talking about, and we'll. It could easily we'll praise him. It could easily be Prince Charles. He stinks. Oh, I know, but he stinks. He's he a could weak, even be Spanish. He's yeah. a weak king, 
Anyone that would sit around waiting 75 years to have a job well, is stupid. Pussies. So, Matt, explain Dennis. Dennis uh, supplies a lot of the cool beers. Dennis here at is Gebhardt's. the beer buyer at Gebhardt's. Right. So he's uh, he's got his finger on the pulse of the beer community better than I do anymore. Yes. And um, he loves it. Yeah. And he works for nearly free. <laughs> and um, lots of take home tips and samples. <laughs> and everybody's everybody's pleased. Everybody went in right here. It's uh, it's a tough one. There's new beers every day. Yeah. Oh, really? It's hard to keep up at this point? Uh, especially in New York. We've got, what are we, close to 30 breweries in the city. Yeah. And each one produces at least a new five every uh, week. And then the new cool thing is to drink drink the beer one time, take a selfie with it, post it, and then never have it again. Yep. Oh, because really? now it's old news. Oh, you right. got to move on to the new new cool thing. It's all hazy IPAs. It's all hazy. Yeah. So so none of these uh, breweries could get traction is what you're saying, right? Well, they do. They, they do, do by, by producing more and more hazy. So. Okay. Oh, my God. And then when Dennis isn't doing that, he builds ships. He was in Europe for three months. He's just, yeah, he's throwing. Two and a half, three months doing a lead video installation. Oh, no, you do, the, you do like the AV and yep. the, all, all the theater. All in the theater. Yeah. So what country were you in? I spent a month right outside of Venice in a shipyard. Oh, damn, how's and Venice? Uh, amazing. It was there every weekend. We were in uh, the town of Mestre. Right. Which basically is the whole town is lives off of that shipyard. Uh, probably 3,000 guys working in there. And then we set sail and we did Italy, Croatia, Slovenia, Greece, Holy Turkey, uh, Spain. Wait, so you set sail on a boat and then you hook up with other, what, yachts and whatnot? No, it's a massive cruise ship for 3,000 passengers. So we do... Uh, oh, uh, you ha- you had to be on the cruise ship? Yes. Oh, to make sure everything went okay. To finish installing it all. So you installed it and then... As there's guests on board. And so during the day we work while they're at... They're short excursions, and then we uh, work all day. Right. They get a show at night, usually a magician or whatever, while we're finishing up the show. And then we go in overnight and go back and forth. And make sure everything's running properly. Make it all running. So we do uh, Beetlejuice, a couple of musicals. and uh, So you were just living on a cruise ship all summer. Yeah, with no windows for a month. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. So uh, I spent my 6 to 8 o'clock was uh, sent, sitting outside on the beach or on the decade and just enjoying as much sun as i could right and was it weird to be in a room without windows as far as the, the waves and the rocking of the boat when you're working overnights it's kind of beautiful you don't know what time it is ever right um so and how big nice. how big was the room they gave you uh the first one was a queen size bed and then for the next month i had a i guess a full size and about a foot of walking space in between and a small shower and that was it that was it. And where did this cruise ship go to? Italy, Spain, Greece, Istanbul. I was in for two days. I, did you go to the Blue Mosque? Yes, I did. You did? Yeah, we had a crazy cab driver. Uh, he picked us up from the pier, and he, he said, we want to go to the Blue Mosque. We have three hours. Right. I'll take you. I'll take you. I got a cousin. We'll bring you to a shop. We'll park there. We'll go. Little did I know he's going to swindle us to go buy some embroidery. And, and a some, rug. Uh, and some and silk a rug. and a rug. And, and a rug. Bought some a really nice uh, hand hand embroidered uh, duvet cover, right? And uh, set that home, and then he took us to the Blue Mosque, cut us through all the back lines, and a couple other tours. Bought us some like corn on the cob how, on the street. How cool was the Blue Mosque? Incredible! I one, mean, just, one of the wonders of the old world, right? And one of the seven wonders of the old world, yeah. I think. And how how old that thing is, and it's massive. Do you remember how old it was? It's well uh, over a thousand years. Two thousand years old. Two thousand years yeah. old. And you have to take your shoes off. Shoes off. Unfortunately, I didn't get to go inside because we didn't have tickets. But uh, this wait, guy, you, have to go, you have to have tickets to go inside. Tickets are wait online. Yeah, really? Yeah, because we were able to go in. But I, I did a cruise of the Greek islands and uh, and and some Turk islands, yeah. and we ended up in Istanbul at the Blue Mosque. Did you go and see uh, Mohammed's uh, beard hair? No, one strand of beard hair they got from Mohammed. <laughs> I'm I'm dead serious. Look sure it up. Not a puke. Look it up. <laughs> and that one we had to wait online for like uh, I don't know at least an hour. And when I finally saw it, I actually because I couldn't help myself, I go, "That's it!" And everyone turned around like I committed some kind of. <laughs> but I couldn't believe that's why we waited online. It was behind glass this thick, and then I think it had, if I remember correctly, it had some kind of magnifying glass. And then you looked in like this, and it was one strand of Muhammad's uh, bad as beard hair. Mona Lisa. Right. Oh, I never did that. Did you? Oh, yeah. I cut in the back of the uh, the Louvre and 
not worth it. Right. <laughs> it's so tiny in a room that's massive. Yeah, people don't realize that the Mona Lisa is like this big, right? Yeah. It's like uh, not even a foot by a foot, I it's, don't think. It's tiny and everyone wants to throw, like be in front of it and it's not worth it. And I don't even think that's the real Mona Lisa. I think I think it's a replica. I, I really do. I don't Probably. I don't think they would have it out like that because it's priceless, isn't it? The yes. stupid Mona Lisa. Barrister 1401. Opie, you're drinking, buddy. Looks like a chubby Zelensky. <laughs> <laughs> Poor uh, you know. Poor Ukraine. America <laughs> America is breaking up with Ukraine for Israel. Poor Ukraine. Side piece. Zelensky's like, what about us? Another 40 billion is what about us? over there now. Did you like being on a cruise ship that long? Uh it's my second time doing it. I did one last year. Right. Um it's a long time from home, but it's uh you get to see some beautiful places. I mean Santorini. Santorini is, incredible. is heaven on earth. Uh the worst part was running down the hill at nine o'clock at night to make the ship through all the donkey shit. Right. Um Santorini people in sandals. Santorini, for the people that don't know, one of the Greek islands, but it's in a, an old volcano, right? So the, so the actual cruise ships can't really dock. Yep. It's too deep. So they, they give you little boats to go to uh, Santorini for the day if you're on a cruise a ship. A little tender boat. And uh, and you're there for like, in our case. Six hours. I was there maybe six hours, yeah. yeah. And you take a donkey all the way up. And I think they have elevators or something on the a way down. Car. Cable, cable car. Cable car. All right. It's been many, many years. What did you do in Santorini? You just climbed to the top and... Took the cable car to the top, climbed all the way up to the top blue dome, and then uh, ate a gyro and ran back to the ship. That was it. I had three hours off. That was it. You didn't have a traditional Greek salad? I learned that a Greek salad is not the same. It's awesome. There's no lettuce. all fish? No, it's all tomatoes and onions and olives. There's no lettuce at all. And some peppers. Some peppers. But no lettuce. And no uh, grape leaves, which I hate, so it's okay. No grape leaves. Well, that's because you probably have crappy grape leaves, right? I just hate them. They're disgusting. I've had them. I usually hate them. I had them once. It was good. Grape leaves. Grape leaves are stupid. Did you notice when you went to uh, Greece that they really love their olives? Dennis? Oh yeah, <laughs> I brought a whole bunch back. Some olive oil too. Oh my! Do you have any olive, olive loaf over there? No, no, no olive loaf. They love their olives. They try to sell you olives wherever the hell them. you go. Yeah. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. They got like uh, crab apple sized olives and shit. Went to a nice brewery in Lisbon. That was all right. Really good. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. yeah. So when what, you were in Lisbon two weeks ago? Yep. So was Max. Did you know that? No. Okay. Was there two weeks for two employees were in the same town at the same time? Didn't even know it. I was drunkenly riding bikes around the city. Yeah, <laughs> you probably almost did them. <laughs> What's there to do in Lisbon? Watch out, Zelensky! Uh, take the cable car all the way up to the top to the old aqueduct. You're taking a uh, lot of cable cars to the top. A lot of cable cars. <laughs> you don't want to walk that hill. Uh, castles, everything in. Well, that's Europe why is... you're chubby, Zelensky. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> everything in castle in uh, Europe is castles and churches, and then uh, you find a nice brewery, right? And sit out for the day. I only walk downhill. Yeah, true. The one thing I do on travel days when I have to a day off in a new weird, weird town, jerk off in a brewery bathroom. Well, yeah. <laughs> Before or after the beer, but yeah, there's beer optional. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Sometimes these small towns, that's all they got. It's just some uh, local breweries. Yeah, Dayton, Ohio. My favorite one is uh, Warped Wing, and they make all their cookies and be- and pizza out of spent grain that they make the Ooh, nice. uh, beer with. Nice. So where I live, I see the cruise ships come in for the day, and uh, you know, here in New York City, they're almost as big as the river at this point. Yeah. It's insane how big these this things. This one's are. nineteen floors. Nineteen Jeez. floors. Nineteen floors, and at uh, two hundred meters, whatever that is in feet. How many people? Three thousand people. Three thousand guests. 1,200, 1,500 staff. 1,500 staff? Whoa. Yes. So this, this is staff for every two people, basically? Pretty much. I just want to show off my math. This is <laughs> <it. laughs> Hey, you were close. Yeah, you were I just very want to close. show off my math skills. Yeah, it's, uh, That's this crazy. one is the luxury part of their line. You hear about the, cru- uh, the, the ships where people live on them all year long, but it's still a cruise ship? Uh, we've had a guy on board since August 9th, and he doesn't get off until – Thanksgiving. Really? But the, but literally they buy a room. Yeah. So it's set up like their you know their apartment. What is on fake Zelensky's shirt? No, we're calling him Chubby Zelensky. I didn't I didn't come up with that name, Dennis. This is uh yeah, move in. The shirt for move us. In. The Alchemist, uh Hetty Topper. Hetty Topper. We've got some Hetty Topper left in the fridge for you. Go closer so they can really, really see the shirt. 
your mind will be blown by all the hops. Oh, that's a badass shirt. They and on the back it says, hands. want a heady. That's a badass shirt. I like that. Elderly couples are staying on cruise ships because it's cheaper than retirement yep. villages. That is true. And you they mean, wake up every morning somewhere else. Three meals a day. And then when the cruise ship isn't... Uh, right, they have that now, like floating out, yeah. floating HOAs. Like yeah. You just yeah. own that spot on the ship. Yeah. And then um, when the cruise ship is just docked for a while, you don't care. You're you're still hanging you out on the cruise ship. It's like being Whoa. a... Oh, uh, uh -oh. Three meals a day, uh, free entertainment, mm -hmm. and uh, you meals, can walk right around now. in your bikini even though you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jamie, th this is this is them. Wait, we're drinking his shirt. Take your shirt off. <laughs> no, <laughs> take your shirt Too off. Too many hammer. buffets all summer. Cheers. Cheers. I started saying chairs. Holy chairs. shit! Yeah. Chairs. Chairs. Why as hell? So a, that's a lot. This was one of the That's first a lot. Uh, uh, like viral beers yes. like back in, I don't know, 2008 or something like that when they really, I don't know what year it was, but people were, people were getting arrested for this beer. Let me tell you, put it that way. Why? People what were happened? driving from, from California to Vermont just to get this beer. They were only selling at the brewery. And then old ladies were, were going to the brewery because you could get two cases or something. And then they yep. were selling it out of their garage up in Vermont, Burlington, and then cops are catching on to them, doing sting operations and arresting old ladies for selling this beer. And people, oh, they're selling the empty can for 20 bucks on eBay. No. I swear to God, this the, beer was one of those crazy ones. And you go to visit, free samples. But why did it go so viral? It was one Who of the first, it's the first it? New they England. It drove some of the popularity through scarcity too, yeah. though, right? So mm -hmm. it was like if you couldn't, Get yep. the beer, made it more popular because it was like, oh, you finally got one of them? Uh -huh. We don't even order it. It just shows up. It just up. shows up, and you're not allowed to sell it to go. So when we do our beer to go. What do you mean it just shows up? What? It ju I don't order they, it. They it just allot shows it up. to us, so it comes in when it's uh, allotted for us, and then we get our case or two cases, and then. So you got it right now. So this is a well, pretty special. Long, the way we're drinking. This is a pretty special beer is what you're saying? Yes. Yeah, well. Only a few left. Pat Duffy, who you know, he's going to come by the. Uh, so week. Yeah, so we do Tuesdays at Get Parts every, obviously, Tuesday. And whoever hangs, you know, whoever shows up, you know, we hang with. We don't even really put the word out. It's more like an open invite. Next week, Pat Duffy's coming by, I think. He did the craziest shit on our show. We'll bring helmets. His sister had a baby. On the show? No, we did try to do that, though. Oh, you did? Yeah. Me and Anthony were like, look, no one has ever had – a, uh, a woman give birth on a radio show, so we were dead serious. And a, and a, a woman came in; she was over nine <laughs> months pregnant, got completely naked. Yeah, she's doing jumping jacks, uh, trying jump to have jacks, a baby, jumping trying on the to have a baby. She's drinking coffee <laughs> during our shift. She's smelling jalapenos. Right. Yeah. We only had four hours, so we're like, we had a we had a running the stairs, nine months pregnant. Oh yeah, we we were dead so serious. What happened? Obviously, she was just fat. Obviously, it didn't happen. No, she was not. <laughs> and she got completely naked. Like, yeah. It's she was, cool. That's all right. Yeah, but it didn't happen officially. But um, Pat's uh, sister had a baby, and, and he brought in some of her breast milk, and we made yeah. ice cream. Oh, that's all right. Breast milk tastes Well, that's what goes in our pina coladas. It, wait, it wasn't good? Then she got weird breasts or something. because It wasn't good? What? Nice. What? You should taste my wife's breast milk. Wait, what? It's good. <laughs> Dude, we're friends, but what? I'll ask her. Wait, you're right. I should ask her first. Wait, <laughs> does she still have some action? Huh? Does she still have some? Your daughter's like eight, isn't she? Does, 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 <laughs> she's not quite eight. <laughs> she's, she's not quite. Eight. She shouldn't have breast milk anymore. No, not yet. Oh, I'd have to go home and take care of some. Get us some breast milk, Rowan. So Pat brings in the, the breast milk. We make uh, vanilla ice cream. All right. So we take a scoop live on the show. For, I would say for the first second, it was probably the best ice cream I've ever had in my life. For a second. And then after that? It smelled like it smelled. It tasted like it smelled like boobs. It, it tasted like armpits. So we all boobs at that like <laughs> And Pat also brought in dog crap and uh, brushed his teeth with it. Same day? I don't know. Oh, okay. He would spread this stuff out. No, right, but he's right. coming here next week, I think. No dog so, shit. No dog shit. But we'll do boobs and we'll do breast milk. Or we'll just drink beers with my friend. I'm he's old. Saying. He's old now. He's got a family. 
He's got two kids. He's married. Yeah, he doesn't well, want to be. Got a family this. and everything else is like wide open. Mm -hmm. So we're doing something with your wife's breast milk in the future. Yeah, let's. I'll what do you mean, let's? You let's better ask her. Indeed. No, but I'll ask her. But you know, I'm pretty sure it's cool. I think I'm gonna have to ask my wife Ty too. Tea? I think in some way I gotta ask my wife Maybe. too. <laughs> Maybe. 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 What, what did Dennis say? Thai iced tea. Thai iced tea. Oh, we'll do some Thai iced tea. All right. <laughs> And well, then all of us can have our little jumping trip. <laughs> oh, God. No, the breast ice, uh, breast milk ice cream was rough. Mm -hmm. That was rough. All right. Who is hog jowls? No, I don't know. Craig Salmon. Does the guy in the background, it must be Dennis, have a really large can or are his hands that small? Do you have small hands? You have little baby boy hands? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> They're average. Hold hands in. Yeah. The can does look giant, though. I mean, but hold on. They're all oh my God. It's a 16 ounce can. Yeah. Yeah, this is. Oh, oh. baby ass 12 cans, you know? This is a tough. It's a 16 ounce can. This is a tough yeah. beer to drink. Well, the whole it's thing? Just, oh, you're drinking the whole thing? It's just really. Why, I wouldn't drink the whole thing. Don't drink the whole thing. Oh, my, oh God. my God. I, I drank the whole yeah, thing. Dude. Wait, what do you mean you don't drink the whole thing? It's 8%. Just kidding around. I know Opie likes the weird stuff. The peanut butter nitro stouts in the fridge now. What's that? Who? The left hand peanut butter. Oh, dude, yeah. dude I'll tell that. you right That's now. Next week we'll have that next on week. with the pumpkin king on draft. We gotta do some pumpkin. Uh, now he's gonna have a nice little draft list to play with. No, he doesn't like all this shit. Oh, he will. Yeah, well, he wants he's to have to do some headstands. He, wa he wants a Narragansett or a Bush, and that is it. Wow. Is it as good as uh, Sweet Baby Jesus? Highly comparable. Peanut butter style, nitro milk style. Mm, all right. Hope you're not lactose intolerant. Well, I tolerate it. Yeah. I got some food allergies. <laughs> well, everyone's allergic to peanuts now, apparently. Yeah, when I was growing up, this has no peanuts in it. What? It is peanut butter without peanuts. That's stupid. Uh, it's, it's all done water? by malting. Hold on. I gotta oh, get it. damn it. Oh, this is butter. like another beer you could throw over vanilla ice cream. Whoa. <laughs> Smell. I know. You smell. I smell. It does. It's very. I was following a U.S. mail truck today, and they kept saying, "You smell." You what the smell. fuck am I drinking? <laughs> smells like a Hershey's bar, right? Or when you go to the Hershey Hershey's factory. Like when you go to the Hershey factory, this is what Hershey, Pennsylvania, smells like. This smells like yes, like like uh, Hershey syrup that you would put on vanilla ice cream with some peanut butter in it. It's incredible. Holy shit! Is it? And, and I right. almost a little banana. Yeah, Slight banana know. on the nose, yeah. Um, on the nose, we don't do the nose the thing. Nose. You definitely you gotta stick your nose in there. Oh, no, we don't do on the nose. Remember, we we keep it simple. Oh, right, right. We don't. We it don't smells do like dumb it, it smells we like dumb bananas because these people are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> and we're getting on their level. Uh, <laughs> Is that real people? We got? That's no. <laughs> <laughs> They've been taking shots at us all day, so now we take shots at you. Uh, Opie squinty eye, squinting eyes, tells me he just moved past Buzz into Miley Slosh. <laughs> Miley. Well, the problem is I need readers, and you I see what he does on his scooter home. <laughs> I refuse to wear readers on a live stream. That's the problem. Did you bring your scooter Holy. today? No, I didn't bring my scooter. No, his scooter's falling apart. It is. It's, you, you can hear him coming down the street. <laughs> <laughs> and you were an exchange student. Oh, I meant to ask you a lot of questions about that. No, yeah. so. I didn't do it. So but senior I, year, did have a hammer on me. That senior one day. year, he was one of those weirdo kids. He went to another country and lived with some strange family. How did that? How does that work? We, like, did, well, like work. when you have to have dinner, do they care about you? You're when still you're, a kid, essentially. Like you're a teenager in their home. So, but when you're partying with like hopefully made friends, <laughs> are, do they show concern or can you go hog wild? Because they don't first get, family, no. Second, third family, hell yeah. Wait, you had three, three families? families? Yeah. Oh, so, you were one of the bad kids. Yeah, yeah. They kept did four them. months or so with each family. Well, first family, I jetted as soon as I met uh, my host brother in the second family right i was like oh he's cool he's like you want to move in now and i just left a note i took all my crap out of the first house and went with him and, and i moved in early right and uh, yeah and then that's when it began i just started to have a good time over. but did they give a shit was there a curfew no, not Holy at all fuck. i mean as long as i was checking in and all this right. I, you know and it was pre-cell phone so there wasn't much um do you keep in touch with the, any of those families 
I've tried to find them again. I was pretty bad at, at uh, contact for the first 10 years after that. And then um, I had a little bit of contact, and then it's been lost again. Right. Because so, now we're, what, 23 years out. Dude, so you're 17, 18 years old. You're in a foreign country, living Young with mom. a family, and, and you're not officially their son, obviously. Bang my host, mom. What? Third family. What? Yep. Was, was she with her husband? He wasn't there at the time. Yeah. Why well, swingers, you know? They were swingers? Yes, sir. Also, that's why they got into the business. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that wow? Yeah, really? Mm -hmm. Wait, so you're 18 living with some the third family, and then the, the husband goes to work and then you go to town? Yes. God, how crazy shower. was that? that? Cool shower too. The jets all and, 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 uh, right. around here, around here. Did the guy? Oh wait, the guy knew because they were swingers, right? Well, we didn't talk about it, so I don't know that he knew. But I'm right, sure he knew. Holy shit. Makes me feel better thinking that he knew. Right. But um, man, that belt. is crazy. I am never sending my kids away to be exchange students. Not to Belgium, you won't. No, no, no. Opie, do you like coffee? Do you like soda pop? This was fun. <laughs> We're talking about soda pop. <laughs> That's it. Because of you, Matt just left. Oh, Ollie, say goodbye. Bye bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Ollie looks like you look like my cousin. Dude, I'm just burnt out. It's been such a long first two days of the week. I'm just. Oh, really? What do you What do you live in the Gaza Strip? <laughs> no. Obviously the, not. Shouldn't the Gaza Strip, I should have said. Exactly. I shouldn't say that, that joke would have been that. better if I pronounced yeah, uh, yeah. Gaza properly. Oh, you're not wrong. Oh, I you had a long two days, did you, Ollie? <laughs> 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 were you hanging out in a bunker, were you, for two days? No, Can't but... get sleep because there's missiles blowing up uh, your building? I don't know why Matt bailed like this. On a soda pop question. Soda pop. A damn soda pop question. Guys, thank you very much. Cheers to everybody. Um, blah, blah, blah. Tuesdays at Get Parts. This one is in the books. We will uh, talk very, very soon. Good day.